Hello everyone. For, as you know, I have already made a collection video of my series of unfortunate events book series. Well, this time my collection video will be about for most of you who were born in the 90s and those who watch a lot of science videos for elementary classes those times you would know that this one would be the magic scuba series the tv show and the book series now i really do like them a lot as a kid i was obsessed with them ever since i found out what the name of it was and throughout most of my younger day, younger days i tried to recollect most of them so this is all i have when have so the this one here is at the Waterworks, it's the original book series by Joanna Cohen Bruce Deegan. This is the very first book ever made, made, and it was quite fun. It had their own funniness. It's full of facts. For those of you who don't know, it talks about major science stuff, and it includes each side side notes are about si little facts about that topic. Of course, then there's. Lost in the solar system. This one talks about the planets here. And then on the ocean floor, this talks about the old marine habitat a lot in it. You can see it's very artistically detailed. Then here is the electric field trip, which is, as you can guess, about electricity, how it works, and how energy is transmitted through. Through the, through the works. Then the last of the original series I have is the 20th anniversary book, The Science Fair Expedition. This one is available in hard pack and I like this one the, probably the most because this one is more, while it does still focus on science, this one talks through the history of some of the most famous scientists ever throughout history where they go exploring and learning about them we learn of their past and then their inventions ideas it was cool i like this and it's very informative that's what i will say it's a very great one i definitely recommend for those who are thinking of trying it out start with the science fair expedition expedition it's really good next up i have this uh, spin-off series that is not ever written or illustrated by the creators here, but it's very similar style, and I pretty much like it. It's the chapter book series, and it spawned for, I believe, 21 books, but I don't have all of them, but here's what I have. And in each book, they focus on one of the class, uh, the kids. They are the main characters, so we hear it in their point of view and of their topic. Such as this one here, book one. This is The Truth About Bats, starring Ralphie. And in pretty much, it's just like the origi original book. They go through learning about one topic, and then with side notes of the facts that happen and such. So it's pretty much the same way, just slightly different. Even though it's not by the original creators, I still like these a lot. And then here, book two is the search of the missing for the missing bones. And another reason why I like these books, these chapter books more, is because they were more adventure kind of. Even though it still talks about a lot of the science, these were more like well, kind of more like action pack sorta. You can say for a young easy readers these are more action packed so here book four space explorers then i have twisted trouble book five and then book seven the great shark escape then book nine dinosaur detectives book 10 expedition down under and book 11, Insect Invaders. And then finally, my last one is The Voyage to the Volcano. These were great 
I would recommend for any young kid or if you have children of your own, get them into this series. This is really good for science facts. Next up, I will now show my three DVD sets of the TV show here, in which I could not. They don't really have any much DVD releases, I believe, with the TV show, but I managed to find some back. Then many years ago, this one is the Creepy Crawly Fun. It's mainly three episodes in one disc. So this one here has, uh, let me see, In the Haunted House, Going Batty, and Spins the Web. Each of these discs, while they include the, episode, the three episodes, they also have the special features. And all of them, I will say, is actually... Mainly any online online computer game kind of well sort of it's just like a pop quiz or the trailers That's what mainly the special features in here have next up is the space adventures This one has the episodes of lost in the solar system lost in space out of this world and taking flight Then the final DVD pack I have is of Holiday Special, which is actually not like the title that much, but it does have the episode In the Rainforest, All Dried Up, and Holiday Special. Uh, for those of you who don't know or are wondering about this one, about that Christmas episode, when it originally aired, there was a little special extra footage on the TV, original TV airing where it shows the behind the scenes look with the actors and the producers of the show, how did they create it, pretty much all behind the scenes. This DVD actually does not include that, it's only the episode, there's no behind the scenes footage for this one. Okay, now the last thing I have is uh, uh, this box set here of the books that were based on the TV episodes of the show. So pretty much if you don't want to read, I mean, if you don't want to watch the TV show, then you could actually just read the books because it goes pretty much the same way. So hold on here. I will try to get this out a bit. Okay, I got the books out. Um, Before I go seeing this pile here, I will say that it's kind of unfortunate cause to believe that these books will also have different illustrators in it. So you'll see the art style kind of shift around. But basically, I will say the only good thing is that it still follows the same episode plot as the TV show of each of them. So all of them follow it the same. It's just not that much difference. But here in the here it is. So in the Arctic. So pretty much, this is almost pretty much like the way they animated the, the animated it. It really does go into. Then here's blows its top. This one you can kind of notice the slight change in different illustrators now. And it blows its tops. Gets cold feet. This one's about reptiles. Then gets programmed. This one's about about mainly floppy disks. These were a thing before pretty much CDs in the 90s or flash drives, I believe, actually. Oh. Yeah, this guy, I don't like whoever the illustrator is with this one. I don't like their where it looks pretty well. Not that good. And then here gets eaten. One of my favorite ones. And one of my favorite episodes also. Pretty cool. Then there's Going Batty. And then here another favorite of mine is Makes a Rainbow. Yeah. Really cool. It was good, fun. It was pretty much fun reading these all the time. Plant seeds. Okay. 
see the stars. One of the rarer ones because I never really believed so much of the later episodes were put into book format actually. Ups and downs. Wets all over. The probably the very first one I ever read, and coincidentally, the first episode I ever watched of the TV show, also. Then the final one gets ants in his pants. Again, I do not like who the illustrator is for this one. It's not that good. Anyway, there you have it. This is what I have pretty much of my Magic Scuba series. I actually do have uh, three of three computer CD games of it also. They were Oceans, Rainforest, and Bugs. However, they have been since lost in my old CD piles. I have not been able to find any, but they were cool also. But anyway, for any of you who were looking at this video feeling nostalgic, I want I hope you do did enjoy this and I hope that maybe this might bring a good bit memories of this of this franchise that I did enjoy. This will always be a memory of my childhood. I really do did like this. Anyway, thank you. Have a good night.